There's very few topics in sports as contentious as the right for college athletes to be paid. On June 30th, 2021, NCAA athletes received the ability to profit off their name, image, and likeness, which has led to so much uncertainty, especially in the sport of football. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers select Justin Evans, defensive back, Texas A&M. It's no secret that South Mississippi is home to many elite football players. The Pittsburgh Steelers select Sinquez Golson, defensive back, Mississippi. A list that includes Terrell Buckley, Justin Evans, Sinquez Golson, and Brett Favre continues to grow year after year as technology advances. There's really no kids anymore that aren't found, uh, you know, if I get a phone call or our personnel department gets a phone call today about a kid somewhere, we can be watching his film before we even get off that phone conversation. The new age of the transfer portal and name, image, and likeness, otherwise known as NIL, has taken the football offseason by storm and changed the game overnight. George County star and All-American MJ Daniels flipped his commitment from Mississippi State to Ole Miss. To the news out of college football, former Ole Miss Rebel and George County standout MJ Daniels is taking his talents closer to home. The former four-star defensive back has committed to Southern Miss after entering his name into the transfer portal on November 30th. News out of Oxford on Thursday, backup quarterback Luke Altmeyer, who appeared for a snap in last night's Texas Bowl, is on his way to Illinois. Former LSU quarterback uh, Walker Howard announced he's taking Taking his talents to Oxford. That guy, Spencer Sanders, the former Oklahoma State signal caller, announced he's heading to Oxford as well. The athletes hold all of the cards, which means the way players are being recruited has changed drastically. It also means college coaches across the nation don't know their final numbers until training camp begins. Um, it's kind of strange even looking at numbers because, you know, you have the first class, you have this class, and you have transfer. Portal guys that everybody follows closely and potentially transfer guys that haven't started school, so they may not um, be on our list even though we have their papers. So um, just kind of some strange rules around that. Changed the game completely. I mean, and we're seeing that in the high school. Uh, we're just now starting to get college on campus where in the past they'd already been here. And, uh, you know, they have to deal with the portal first, and, and then they come out and look at high school guys. and. But, you know, that's a that's a gamble in itself uh, for them and even for our guys. The concept of college athletes having the ability to make money off their name, image, and likeness has been one of the most controversial topics in sports. Now that NIL is here, everyone from the top down is trying to help their student athletes with the lack of parameters around it. We are a professional sport without really, um, you know, a system in place to handle these kids being treated as professionals as far as you know, them being, them being paid, which is awesome. And I've always said, uh, we just don't have a system in place around it with proper windows and contracts and them being employees because, you know. I, I think NIL is good. I, I do. I think, I think the, the concept of it is good. I think it is. I think it is good for, for people to be able to use their brand to make money. I think that's what the American dream is, is all about. It's exploded, if you will. I think we'll see over the next few years some regulations and stuff come into effect that only helps these players make sure they're doing things the right way even more. We want to be on the forefront of that. Everybody wants to know how to deal with NILs because, you know, we were told last week that's starting to filter into high schools and, and other states are adopting policies to do it to, for high school kids to get on NIL deals, which is crazy. The NIL is definitely going to change things. It definitely makes people look at places they may not have considered before. And it's going to be a, it's going to be a bigger factor as time goes on. And, and I think the NCAA is trying to figure things out, as well as uh, your, your college coaches, because they're recruiting the very best athletes they can find. Mississippi has handled the early stages of the portal and NIL exceptionally well. From high schools to JUCOs to four-year institutions, players and coaches continue to adapt and look forward to a day that has more rules and regulations in place.